Hype in crisis due to new gene stock plummet. Bank Saihuk's 400 billion won risk. New Jeans announcement of contract termination with affiliated company ADA has sent Hype stock prices into a nosedive. As of noon on November 29th, Hype stock was trading at 197,700 Korean wons, approx $141, down 2.85% from the previous trading day. Shortly after the market opened, the stock had plunged 6.63% to 189,300 Korean wons, approx $135, at one point during early trading. The drop is attributed to the domestic stock market's weak performance, combined with New Jeans' abrupt departure from Hype. The group, considered Hype's next major revenue driver, held an emergency press conference on November 28, announcing that their contract with ADA would be terminated as of midnight on November 29. Adding to the turmoil, Hype founder and chairman Bang Saihyuk is under scrutiny for a financial controversy. A report surfaced alleging that Bang earned nearly 400 billion won, approximate $286.6 million, in investment profits during Hype's IPO four years ago through a private equity agreement. The agreement, it was revealed, was not disclosed to the Korea Exchange during Hype's IPO review process nor included in the financial regulator securities filing. In response, Hype stated, during the IPO preparation, the company provided the shareholder agreement to the IPO underwriters, who reviewed it in compliance with applicable laws. We believe there was no legal violation in the IPO process. Financial authorities have decided to investigate whether there was a possibility of violating the Capital Markets Act during Hype's past listing process. This decision comes after it was revealed through reports that Hype's chairman Bang Sehuk and private equity funds, PEFs, signed a shareholder agreement that involved sharing investment profits. A senior official from the Financial Supervisory Service, FSS, stated on the 29th, We plan to immediately investigate the possibility of a Capital Markets Act violation involving Hype and Chairman Bang, adding, there are many aspects to examine, including whether there were any omissions in the securities registration statement, starting from the PEF's acquisition of shares in hype before the listing. The official further stated, we will also focus on reviewing not only the appropriateness of the listing process, but also whether there were any suspicious transactions during this period. This controversy has added another layer of challenges for hype as it navigates the fallout from New Jeans contract termination.